Dun, 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 dun. What do we have here? It's obviously, get out of here, a beautiful iVolver switch case, but inside of it is the Pow Kitty X35H. So we've unboxed this, we've done a review on it, and the consensus has been that this is really cute, it has nice ergonomics, but it's really not that great, mostly, almost primarily, because of the absolutely backwards operating system it shipped with. Seriously, it makes some of those $25 game sticks look elegant by comparison. So why are we making yet another video? Well, there's two reasons. First off, this pastel candy, just whatever this is, this color option is amazing. For me personally, it's one of those so bad that it's good deals. Like it shouldn't work, but it does, right? This thing also really appealed to my wife and my daughters. We might have ourselves a genuine certified cutie pie handheld here. And this particular model of the pastel one is available for me at least. I saw it on Go Game Geek. Thanks, Go Game Geek. We got a link in the description if you want this pastel butte in your life. Where was I? Oh, oh yeah, two reasons. The second reason is that our boy DJ Khaled, I mean Gamma, Gamma has ported Gamma OS Core into the X35H. And I want to see how this thing does with an actual functional firmware, huh? So strap in as we see if the Gamma Bunny has really fixed this Cadbury mess that we call the X35H. Get it? Because of, uh, because of, uh, e Easter? Do you, do you get it? As far as installation goes, it's kind of complicated. Luckily, we have a guide on our website that shows you how to do this in depth but it's very different than a normal flashing process. You need to use a special tool and write the image to a card in a special way. Once that's done, it boots onto the device and then you're up and running. I can do a dedicated guide for Gamma OS if you want, but it would have probably taken, I don't know, five, seven minutes in a video that's supposed to be about this goofy pow kitty device. But let me know if there's any interest and I can do a standalone Gamma OS for Linux video if you'd like. Now, once you have Gamma OS up and running, you basically get a super stripped down version of Android that's running Daijisho. All your cores are downloaded and configured, and you just need to load your ROMs. Now, the easiest way to do this is to plug your X36H into your computer. Since it's Android, your computer should recognize it as a USB device. Now, I had to use a USB A to C data cord, and it took me a hot minute because all the ones I could find were just for power. I have a bunch of C to C's, but this won't read C to C. So plan accordingly. So now that we're up and running, I guess we should ask, what is Gamma OS? Well, sir, Gamma OS Core is a super pared down version of Android 13 TV, and it's suited for low power devices like the X35H here. Gamma OS has heavily modified Android to be as efficient as possible, all while introducing quality of life features for the discerning retro gamer, huh? Now, for instance, it comes with retro arts already pre-installed, pre-configured, all your shortcuts are in there, all your buttons are mapped. It comes with Daijisho pre-installed and configured for you. There's a quick settings menu if you hold the power button down, see? And it has a mouse emulation mode if you get yourself into a situation where you really need to mess with the menus. Honestly though, too long didn't read, you got Android Lite on this handheld now. Pretty cool. One glaring issue with Android on something like this, though, is that this isn't a touch screen. Like, I can I could touch it all I want, but it's not going to help me navigate through the menus or swipe down. I just, I just smudged it up. Let me clean that off here. So there's no touch screen. What do we do? Well, our boy Gamma took this into consideration, and he configured everything to work with the D-pad and the sticks and your buttons. If you do run into problems, that mouse mode is select and R1. The screen flashes, it says mouse mode enabled, and oh buddy, look, now my mouse works. This one over here works kind of like a scroll wheel, if you want to zoom through, pretty cool. Now mouse mode on here isn't like great, but it does help if you get into a weird situation. It's honestly not something you should need to do too often though, just because everything on here is controller based. There are even specific hotkeys that show on the screen when you're adding folder locations, like I can press L1 and switch my storage. Easy peasy. Normally I'd have to use the mouse or the touch screen. Don't have to, cause Gamma thought about it. Neat. Now I've tried my darndest 
to get my Wi-Fi dong go to work. Put it in the bottom, put it in the top. I changed my USB settings to all of the options. I tried MTP, PTP, and uh, USB Ethernet. None of it works. I'm not sure if it's because this is a beta version of Gamma OS Core or because this Wi-Fi dongle is just a little bit, eh? Now this dongle has worked on some Pal Kitty stuff and it hasn't worked on other Pal Kitty stuff. So honestly, it could just be a combination of this dongle and Pal Kitty's well-earned reputation for being pillars of quality control. So if you do have Wi-Fi or your dongle does work, you could scrape your stuff on here. You could go into the Aurora store, download some apps. I personally wouldn't download a lot of apps on here because this has a very small amount of memory overhead. Let's look here. You're dealing with one gig of memory and you're using more than half of it just to run the front end. Well, heck, I think we spent enough time on menus and, and Wi-Fi or the lack thereof. Let's play some dang games. So everything up to PSP, N64 here, and Dreamcast is going to run great. But even though we've seen decent higher end performance on some other 3566 devices, the X35 here doesn't really excel at N64. You can go in and fine tune the resolution and speed profiles, but I never got consistent good performance. Like Star Fox here, it's going to run okay in battles, but then it's going to drop to like 6 FPS on the map screen. I got way better performance on the 353 line, but those devices also had double the RAM on this. Okay, trying to talk. This is easily my top five video game narration of all time. Good luck. Slippy. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just I've seen better on the same chip. Eh. PSP on here is kind of the same as N64 in that it can be hit or miss, except I really don't like playing PSP on a screen like this because it's, it's really squished. You got a small screen to begin with. And it's fine for 4x3 or even Game Boy Advance, but, uh, oh lord, I just died. But PSP on here, uh, it's it's a stretch. Get it? Do you get my wordplay? Dreamcast is pretty decent on here. You're going to run into some titles that just don't want to work, but I don't know. Crazy Taxi's... Oh god, I missed my turn. Crazy Taxi looks okay. Pay no attention to the skills involved. I'm just... I drive like this in real life. That's why my daughters really don't like when I have to drive them to school in the morning. It's an adventure. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, dipped down to 15 there. That's not good. Whee! Well, Gary, it's time for What Did We Learn? And we learned that if the Easter Bunny dropped off an X35H in your basket this spring, you weren't crazy about the stock operating system. The Gamma Bunny is here to help. 
The X35H is fairly comfortable to use. Comes in a couple of unique color options like this pastel beast. And now it has competent firmware. Android without touchscreen isn't ideal, but Gamma OS makes it relatively painless. And it's leagues ahead of that weird POW Kitty OS it shipped with. In addition to the unified front end experience of Daijisho, you can really tell that Gamma OS on here is optimizing battery life. I played this for the better part of an afternoon and I lost like 35% battery. That's pretty cool. Even playing like PlayStation or PSP or some N64. I like Gamma OS, but there are some rumors going around the net that the X55 build of Rocknex will work on here as well. So maybe I'll try that out. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that. I don't know that I would recommend the X35H as a must buy, but if you find one on sale, or if you love this Lucky Charms serial colorway, Gamma OS definitely makes it way better. If you thought this video was way better than other stuff you've seen, not gonna name names, you know who you are, then please like and subscribe and all that jazz, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.